So if you watched the previous video on thinning the citations, you might have caught a mistake that I made, and that was when I was trying to search for the words child, pediatric, or adolescent in the title, I forgot to switch the Boolean terms to or instead of and. So once I search this, now I can figure out that I've got 14 articles that have this in the title. I can do the same to say, is this showing up in the abstract? So child, pediatric, children probably doesn't show up, so I'm probably going to want to add that as well. So if I search that in the abstract and add one more, abstract contains children. So right now I have 14 references. Let me just search and see what pops up here. Um, Search results 13. Wait, let me pop one more time over here. Just 13, that's it. Hmm, that's it. Okay, I've got 13. 13 in my search results. So, one more time. There we go, 13. Okay, so I'm going to grab these, pull them over here, take this group, and let's see who ended up in the discard pile here. 19 all together. So, child, pediatric, adolescent, or children. 19 references. So come on over here, and I'm working on the adults here, so I've got 19. I don't really know about overviews or review articles, so I'm going to delete that for the moment. Delete the row. Okay. Um, I want to just go back and check that. But come on over here, and I've got 19 of these. So I can grab these, right-click, move to trash. 303. Okay, so I can disappear this. And disappear that. And I just want to double check because I did that really quickly before review in the title. Review in the title, and I actually could do title or in the title. I'm going to add in the word systematic. Okay, so. Review or systematic in the title. Let's search and see what happens. Nothing found. So that must have been what I got rid of before. So that's good news. Title, title, title. Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that. Now I can minimize this. Uh, consider my additional inclusion and or exclusion criteria. Um, and one of the things I want to look for is I, I definitely want to look for trials. So now I'm going to start to preliminarily include Title contains the word trial. So this will be in what I'm going to include. I've got 84 trials. This is where I start. So I'm going to come over here and grab all of these. And remember that they might not have the word trial um, in the article itself, but this is really going to become my universe. So I'm going to add references to a custom group and my new group is going to say trials. Rename group. And I'll call this, I'll put it A so it alphabetizes high enough up. Why is this not working? Rename group. A. Okay, there we go. So my 84 trials. So this will be ultimately where I'll start to 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 um, really focus my research. But for now, I still have this big old list of 303 citations, and I want to look for other criteria to start to get rid of things or start to add things to my list of 84. But I can come over here and say uh, includes the word. So this is my inclusion here, and this is. Preliminary, and this includes, I never remember to close parentheses, has word trial. In title. So that's 84. Now, you never really see that in any kind of publication. But that's just, again, one way to help me um, manage what I'm looking at. There's really no point in me continuing to look at, at studies that have the word trial in the title if there are other articles that need to command my attention um, in, in terms of whether or not I'm going to include them. So I can come on over here again and, um, and come back to my big old list of all references. And, and so I know I have trials. I know I've got somebody left over here that wants to be discarded. And who was this? This was uh, adolescence. Oops, so that was an adolescent. Uh, move that guy to trash. Move to trash. He forgot to go with everybody else. Um, so 
uh, let's see, 302 references, 84 have a word trial. Coming back to my 302, I've got work site, I have some asthma interventions, I've got, um, oh, truck drivers, that's interesting. And that looks like, I don't know, it looked like abracadabra when I looked at it. Um, working my way down the list, I can just start to look for criteria that I might end up using to get rid of um, articles. So um, let's use the word asthma in the title and see what happens. I've only got two. So I definitely have two to discard here. So I'm going to come over here and move these to trash. And this is other conditions. So other conditions that are not hypertension, boom. Got rid of two articles there. And this is, this is a, I want to just double check that this is not exclusion criteria. These are 84 that I want to keep and I want to examine. So let's move that over to the right. Um, all right, so back over we go. Uh, renal disease might be showing up here. So if I look at the, at the abstract, um, oh, preeclampsia might be showing up. So let's try this, actually. I want to say any field contains pregnant or any field contains prenatal. So we want to get rid of, we didn't search specifically for preeclampsia, but we, yep, we will make sure that those studies didn't get captured in here. Um, so that's good news. So with my 300 references, scrolling down again, it looks like I've got some corporate wellness programs. It looks like I've got something that's uh, targeting smokers, tobacco use. But in general, with this list of 300, I definitely have some nice potential articles, um, even to start with, with, I guess I've got 83 trials and not 84, so maybe that was the asthma trial got included. So um, let's pop over here and say I've got 83 word, um, studies, or articles that use the word trial in the title. Um, so at this point, manually scanning these, uh, making another group to sort out anybody who's going to get discarded again, um, if, if I want to hang on to them for a little while, uh, as I'm going through manually, just making sure that as I start to discard um, references, I account for myself why they're being discarded. Um, so the other conditions I have too, I haven't looked yet at the geographic focus, review articles, um, I already um, pulled out, I guess, just a couple of those. Um, and uh, eventually other types of research design. So uh, if I just said review articles or surveys or case reports, um, those types of study designs are definitely not going to be my, my criteria. At this point, I still would include randomized controlled trials. I still have potential to include cohort studies and pragmatic trials and pragmatic experiment, experience, or experiments. rather. So um, discarding my 83 for a moment and going back through everybody else that's in the pool, uh, it's time for a manual search. It's time to curl up with a cup of cocoa and spend a couple hours scrolling through these. Um, and then uh, trying again, my first accountability to myself is to discard anything that really doesn't meet my inclusion criteria. So as I sort, it's either going to be throw it out or put it in a maybe file. And once I have the maybe file, then I can work on getting scrolling through the abstracts and getting full text. So hopefully you see as going through this process, it really is do a big search, find your references, eliminate what doesn't fit, dig into what's possible so that you can eliminate additional trials. And the goal here will be to get this whole systematic review down to, I'm hoping, no more than 20 articles for my analysis, and we'll see how that goes.